Hey, stalker. It's Andrea. This is Missing Person Monday on Morbidly Captivating. In Missing Person Monday, we feature a different missing person each week. We won't go into any details in this series, however, because the idea is to get their names and faces out into the public so they can be found. But not by us, since we're not professionals. We also want to pique your interest for future Morbidly Captivating episodes. In this week's episode, we feature the disappearance of Tamala Wells, the mother of two children who lived on Appleton Street of Detroit's west side with her boyfriend, Ricky Tennant. They had been living together for 15 years. Tamala graduated from nursing school and worked in the home health care field. On that fateful day, August 6th of 2012, she left her home in her four-door 2001 Pontiac Grand Prix and mysteriously disappeared. The car was painted white with a black front bumper. Tamala called her mother Donna later that night, but then was never heard from again. Where was she going? What was she doing? How long did she plan to be gone? Neither her mom nor her boyfriend seemed to know the answer to those questions. Her boyfriend claimed that Tamala was just going out to take care of some business. Huffington Post reported on December 18, 2015, that according to Tennant, he went to walk their daughter home from a play date when he saw Tamala for the last time drive by in the white Pontiac. Since she disappeared, Tennant refers to her as one less headache, which implied he was glad she was gone. However, he also said that they loved each other very much. The following morning, Tamala's daughter was worried, and she called her grandmother Donna, who lived in Florida. The granddaughter let Donna know that her mother did not return home after she left the night before. Donna asked her granddaughter to give the phone to Ricky. However, he allegedly refused to talk to her. It was reported that his relationship with Tamala's family had been contentious even before Tamala vanished. Donna and her husband immediately left Florida to go to Michigan to search for her daughter. According to the Charlie Project, the Pontiac was found abandoned three days later on Coventry Street between Emory Street and East Lance Avenue, just a few blocks from her home, which Google Maps indicates was roughly 8 to 10 minutes or 5 miles away. Only a few clothing items were found inside the car, and there was no sign of Tamala. Tamala is still missing, and the family continues to plead for her safe return. According to Donna in an interview on August 6, 2020, the police say they were going to skim the river. Never happened. We're going to search this home next door. Never happened. We're going to get the canine dogs and this and that and this and that. Never happened. Tamala's boyfriend was questioned, but never charged. Tamala Nicole Wells is a black female with black hair and brown eyes. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs approximately 155 pounds. She was last seen wearing a white shirt, blue cuffed denim shorts, and earrings. Her date of birth is December 30th, 1978, and she would now be 42 years old. Tamala's hair was styled in tiny braids below her shoulders at the time of her disappearance, and she wore acrylic fingernails. She has a scar under her chin and a scar on the left side of her forehead. Both earlobes have been pierced twice. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Tamala Wells, please contact Detroit Criminal Investigations at 313-596-5240 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Morbidly Captivating is a true crime comedy podcast found anywhere you listen to podcasts. You can follow us at our website at morbidlycaptivating.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. See you next week.